Plantagenet. Lionheart by Mike Walker. Oh, you kings and princes of this world, listen to me. I have seen the cross thrown down and trampled beneath the feet of the heathen. I am Eleanor, Countess of Aquitaine, Queen of Anjou and England. I'm stuck in prison in this dreary wet country whilst the world goes about its business. And my husband, Henry, king of that name, summons up the mist and fog in which to hide his intentions. And sometimes I think he hides them so well that he doesn't even tell himself what he's up to. <laughs> so you may not see the vile children of Ishmael defile the most sacred heart of Christmas. Oh, it does go on. There's Henry. He always was impatient. He's a bishop, sir. It's what they do. And William Marshall, best fighter and greatest knight in Christendom. And Bowen. To regain the holy city of Jerusalem and set up the holy cross. I, Henry, by grace of God, Count of Anjou, Duke of Normandy, Lord of Brittany, Aquitaine, and England, do vow to follow the cross to the Holy Land and cast down the heathen. The Sir, are you really going on crusade? At my age, Marshal, of course not. Maybe I should get you to do it for me. <laughs> I've been out there once. How did you find it? Spiders and scorpions. I never liked sharing my armor. It's a bleak and beautiful land. It changes a man, being there. Makes him think about what he is. It also made me think that this... Saladin is no fool when it comes to fighting. Well, you ought to know about that. And why? Because Richard will certainly go. It's one thing being Lionheart in Aquitaine, but on the Dome of the Rock, as the saviour of Christendom, he'll be the greatest leader in the world. And why would Henry, who is concerned by Richard's ambition, allow Richard to prove himself a great leader? And then... He'll get tangled up in their bloody politics and be out of my way for at least five years, which will be long enough. <laughs> you see, shrewd. And because he goes, so will young Philip of France. Ah, Philip of France. Devious, ambitious, untrustworthy, with no one's interest at heart but his own. That boy's a coward. They say he rides into battle backwards. To get a good start on the retreat. This crusade will keep the pair of them busy for the next half dozen years at least. And will Richard be king one day? Well, that's the question, isn't it, Marshal? That's what everybody wants to know. And that's what I'll have time to decide. Forgive me, Richard, but your father is very greatly mistaken if he thinks he can get away with this. Philip of France. And my best beloved son, Richard Plantagenet, known as Lionheart, Count of Aquitaine. With what? Sending us off to the Holy Land in pursuit of the cross. There are worse things. Well, of course. It is a great destiny. Jerusalem regained and... We come home to find that your father has settled the succession on your little brother. He's always been fond of John, I grant you that. He cheated his first son in favour of his last. Why would he not cheat you? He's already bedding your intended wife. Your sister, Philip. The man is a goat. A very powerful and cunning goat. We together, Richard, are not without power and guile. He outsmarted us last time. He outsmarted my father, who was a good man, but did not know how to finish the matter. Finish the matter? That's what Philip said? His very words. The man is a snake. Sometimes we need snakes. Didn't Geoffrey say as much? Geoffrey is dead. 
Salisbury, where I spend my imprisonment, such as it is. I stood against my lawful husband with my sons, Hal, Geoffrey, and Richard. Now only Richard is left. And John. It's no secret that Richard is my best beloved. I took him away from his father when the whoring got too blatant. And he grew up in Aquitaine as I grew up in that land with its music and wine. And he will be king, king of Anjou and England. And no one, not Henry himself, will stand in the way of that. Rain. It always rains in this dreadful country. Rust's armor. Three sons I've lost, Richard. That is a terrible thing for a mother. Two of them in manhood. I don't want to lose another. But then we must not lose Aquitaine either. That is sacred. That is our land, yours and mine, not the others. Hal never appreciated it, and Geoffrey couldn't be bothered. John doesn't know. He's as much English as he is Angevin. What's the boy like? John? Oh, not unlike Geoffrey at times. Clever. Too clever, perhaps. He has a family temper. You should get to know him, Richard. Doesn't sound my kind of fellow. But he's your brother. And father's son. John's impatient. He'll go the way the wind blows. Remember that. And at the moment, the wind blows with father. Yes. Henry does love you in his fashion. We are Plantagenet. And he cares about that more than he knows. And John, as the youngest, is to him the most precious. He has hopes for that boy. My throne. If any human being has Henry's heart, if he has such a thing anymore, then it's John. And though a man's heart can be great, it can also be his weakness. Philip said as much, that the king would cheat me of what's mine. Not as your father sees it, Richard. The succession is his to give, not yours to demand. It is God's law. That never stopped Henry doing exactly what he wanted. On the other hand, you are perhaps the only leader in Europe who might stand up to him. With Philip by my side, I'm the only leader in Europe who might defeat him. I told you, be careful of Philip. Oh, I know Philip. No, Richard. You've probably porked him. Mother! Listen to me, I know what I'm talking about. Because a man has had his cod inside you doesn't mean that he owns you. It isn't true of your father and me, and it won't be true of you and Philip. To Philip, rebuilding France is worth an arse. You have to be very careful when dining with that young devil. But the game is worth the candle. You need to talk to your father. Find out what his intentions are for you and for John. You also need to get married. But not to Alice. Taking my father's whore is a little too close to home. One of your father's whores. He's always been a sight more generous with his seed than his succession. Well, that has to end now. I'm going on crusade, and before I go, the succession must be settled. God can wait. He's eternal. The succession can't. Ask for Alice. If he means to be true and do well by you, he'll say yes. If he means to be false, he'll make up some excuse. Because he wants to keep her. Because he wants her for John. If he won't do that, ask to take John to the Holy Land under your protection. Now, go to Le Mans and do this thing. And come back a king! Or nothing. <clears throat> Gentlemen, this meeting has been called by His Majesty to ascertain how the parties involved may proceed towards a peaceful and amicable future. I don't think so. At the king's He's got something in mind. Present here today He's always is the got something in mind. Archbishop of Canterbury. This Is that William Marshall beside the king? The importance the king oh, yes, he's here. And the boy John. And the urgent necessity See him? of settling these matters amicably. Are we ready to begin? Richard, 
I am at your service, as always, Father. I doubt mm. that. Welcome, cousin. Thank you, cousin. Uh, John, uh, sit beside me here. Mm. Good, good lad. John, good to see you again. It's been a while. Yes. Though you don't seem to have grown much. The higher climbs the ape, the more he shows his ass. Sir, so may we proceed? When I say so, Marshal. Cousin, your forces are already in the field, I believe. Small raiding parties, cousin. Hotheads. I will curb that enthusiasm. Uh, you will, but not yet. Cousin, I see that you too have an army at your back. Quartered here in Le Mans, I believe. I am the king. It is fitting. Then we are agreed on one thing at least. It's fitting for a king to have an army. A good start, I would say, cousin. Richard, your forces... Are merely an escort, father. As is fitting to a Duke of Aquitaine. You need have no concerns in that direction. Which means I should have every concern, huh? Mother sends her duty. I'm sure she does, on the end of your sword. My sword is vowed to the service of the cross. The Lord be praised. Once praise. we are settled here. Then shall we move forward to the first matter under discussion? You have not dealt fairly with me. I recall your brother saying something similar. It amounted to nothing in the end. My brother did not have either province or army or such a resolute and standfast friend as I do in King Philip. Oh, stand fast. Is that what they're calling it now? Sir, with a gentle touch, I beg you. Then speak your requests, Richard, with a gentle tongue, and we shall give our best consideration. Then, you must name me... Must! Cousin, Duke Richard misspoke. He requests that you... Name me publicly your heir in Anjou and England. Allow me my Angevin fiefs and their rents and their castles and domains, and arrange at once for the completion of the marriage bond agreed between you and King Philip's father. So I may marry Princess Alice. No, I'm not minded to have this marriage proceed at this time. It should hardly cause you any great inconvenience, Richard. <clears throat> but the other matters, of course, yes, all these things can be seen to once you return from the Holy Land triumphant. I'm not the man to stand in the way of a holy oath. One you took yourself, I believe, cousin. Mm -hmm. Then one further thing. More things! I think we should hear him out. Go on. I know you stopped John taking the cross. Let him do so now, and come with me to the Holy Land, and then, when we get back, as you say, all these things will be settled. He is too young. I was leading armies at fourteen. It's too far! No further for him than for no. me. No! No. He stays. Then so do I. And I, too. I believe that you want the kingdom for John. Then I have no choice now but to believe what I would not believe. Believe what you like, Richard. Uh, cousin Philip, there is no need for Richard you to... has given me his duty. I will stand beside him in this. Then by God's... Bollocks be damned to both of you. Sir, the, the Archbishop. Archbishop, I say to you, by the flaming ass of the Almighty. By we our... must leave. What? Now, they won't waste time. We must fall back to the city before their forces attack. Oh, very well. John with me. Marshal, burn the bridges into the town. That'll hold them up. My men will hold them, sir. Fire burns both ways. Will you disobey me too? Fire the bridges. Fire them or... God damn your dirty soul to hell! Fire There is something sad about an aged codsman who sees harder, younger bucks coming up on him. He won't give up, and yet he can't get it up as he used to day and night. And the more he tries, the more he fails, and the more exhausted he becomes. The wind changes. The flames fight alongside us on. Why not let the place burn, Richard? Because I want to see his face when I stand before him victorious. On, on, on! Have a care! In the smoke, have a care! You have no weapon! <coughs> to me! <coughs> Where are you? My people to your duke! <coughs> to me, here! Oh! Who's there? Marshal? <coughs> William Marshall? 
Duke Richard. By God's legs, Marshal, do not kill me. I'm unarmed. That would be wrong. You might have all the arms of Christendom about you, and I could still kill you, Richard. Maybe you could. But you'll never know for sure if you do it now. I am the king's man. I will be the king. Then the devil kill you. I won't. But you'll walk home today, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> He's done, Marshal! The old man is done! Time for a new morning! Someone? What's happening? Where's Marshal? Where's the Archbishop? Where are they? Marshal? Well? The city burnt before the rain came. Richard and Philip have the day. What's more, they have the barons. They have the support of Brittany, Anjou, Aquitaine, even England. I am still the king. Kings have been cast down before now. You are the king, but to remain the king, you must talk to them. <sighs> To be king is to be God's man. No more, no more. You have done this to me. Be damned to you and be damned to my soul. I take it back. I refuse you the right of it. It is not yours. Rather the devil's than that. My soul to the devil! Then, if I must, to save something for John, I will talk! And give Richard the kiss of peace? Can you do it? For the boy! For John! I name... Before God, my son, Richard, as my only heir in this realm of Anjou and England, and that he will rule after me. I will pay 20,000 marks indemnity to King Philip. I will ensure that the marriage of the said King's sister Alice and my son, Richard, will take place on my son's return from the crusade to free the Holy Land. To that end, I give my seal, and I give my son, Richard, the kiss of peace. I hated to see what he'd done to himself. If he could only once have given a little ground, admitted that he cared. I didn't want it to be this way. I pray I live long enough to have my revenge on you, boy. <laughs> oh, one thing more, Father. Let me go. Do you know whose name is at the very top of the list of those who supported me? Let me be. Your beloved son, John. Oh. The words were shame on a defeated king <sighs> he died unshriven you wouldn't give a, a, a fart to god at that stage <laughs> mm, he was angry oh he was angry a lot when he wasn't rutting or scheming or betraying <laughs> <laughs> but he built something in this world he built a kingdom in Anjou and England. He found them plagued by civil war and he made peace and made them what they are today. And perhaps he was right. He told me once that he wished he'd torn his heart out. And it was his heart, his love for John that killed him. Oh, they all have hearts, William. All the devil's brood. Angry hearts, loving hearts. And they all know how dangerous that is. 
Even Richard? Especially Richard. It may serve him as king, but it may well bring him down. They say he is coming. One day soon he'll be here, and he will scatter the believers and strike down the true faith and take back the city and the land that the Christians have lost. I say, let him come, this lion heart. Let him come. I am waiting for him. They say a great fleet has set out across the seas from the cold lands of the north. They say that kings and emperors have gathered their armies and their followers and their mothers and wives. And in their eyes, Jerusalem is already a Christian city, with their banners flying over it. And this lion heart, brother. The heart is a mighty weapon, but once out of the body, it's just a lump of meat, and may be eaten like any other by a hungry dog. Captain, take us clear. I was here in the Holy Land 40 years ago. I was a young woman then, and I rode out with a man dressed as a man, carrying a sword and lance. They never forgave me for it, but it was worth it. To ride before Jerusalem under the sun. And now Richard, with a fleet of more than 200 ships, approaches his own destiny. The thing that will make him truly what he is. Or truly, and for all time, unmake him. It's a brave sight, Marshal. Oh, come on, aren't you glad I made you come? Now you see the place again. I love God. I love my duty, but I hate this pestilential plague pit worse than the devil. Sun, sand, scurvy, and shite. Oh, and scorpions, and spiders, and Saracens, and Saladin. They say he's a great general. Oh, you'll be able to see for yourself soon enough. So, what's the position? They hold the city of Acre, which overlooks the harbor. Seaward, our coastal blockade allows nothing through. Landward, the city is surrounded by Allied forces. They tell me Philip is there already, exercising his military genius. <laughs> More like making alliances on enemies. Don't you worry about Philip. I can handle This isn't Anjou. It's different out here. Nothing works the way it should, least of all the Crusader Alliance. We've been besieging Acre for months, and beyond us... In the mountains are Saladin's forces. He wants to relieve the city. We want to take the city. But as to who will control the city after that... We shall see, Marshal, once our people are ashore. I want this. I want big battles. I want a general worth fighting, a foe worth defeating. I want to stand under the true cross and reclaim this land for Christ. Some of us wish... Go on, you're not here for fawning. That you had stayed in Anjou and England. I've left good people in charge. You've also left your brother John, and with all respect, sir, good he isn't. Mother will handle John. They're giving you a royal welcome. Which means we need to keep our wits about us. No, Marshal, you're wrong. This is different. This is about the Holy Sepulchre. A thing that unites us all, before which we kneel in humble, united supplication. Richard is a believer. And whilst that is a great virtue in a man, it is not always, as his father would have said, so great a virtue in a king. Cousin Richard, how glad we are that you have arrived at last. We feared there had been a disaster at sea. Cousin, not at all. There was a storm or two, but I never mind seasickness. And William Marshall, you're a new master, I see. I serve the king. And Richard, married, they tell me. Berengaria, daughter of King Sancho. Now, King Sancho, remind me. Small kingdom, well placed between my lands and yours, cousin. There was an agreement between our fathers about my sister Alice, cousin. An agreement before Holy Church. If I were not your friend, I might consider your rejection of her to be a mortal insult. Well, we wouldn't want it to come to mortal combat, now would we, Philip? We've never had 
Ah, oh, Duke Conrad, you must honour the mighty King Richard. My lord, we have been waiting for you. Conrad of Montefiore, good soldier, harsh man, ambitious, once Jerusalem. We have heard much of your courage in the fight, my lord, and look forward to benefiting from it. <laughs> I doubt if Conrad has any intention of risking his forces in battle. He would rather keep them for later, when they will do him the greatest good. Hugh, the ex-king of Jerusalem. Well, your ex-majesty, at least I have some forces, whereas you lost yours to Saladin when you lost Jerusalem. How does a man lose? the Celestial City. <laughs> Such a fellow is not worthy to stand in the company of Crusaders. I stand with the Lion of England. Just wants a bit of recognition. I have heard much of your sagacity, my lord, ah. and look forward to benefiting from your wisdom. Ah. Enough, my friends. Tonight we celebrate our inevitable victory. Let all join with us in giving thanks for the arrival at last of our cousin Richard with some of his fleet. <laughs> Thank you, cousin. A most generous thought. <laughs> By the way, how much are you paying your men now? Um, two gold pieces a week? That's the going rate. Then hear this. King Richard of Anjou and England will pay each of his men four gold pieces a week for the duration of this great crusade. Can we actually afford that? Son? We'll have to. Or we could sell London. Think anyone would buy the place? <laughs> now would be a good time to attack. Half of them will be drunk by midnight. That doesn't necessarily make them less dangerous, Adel. No. Let them have their wine. Let them have their quarrels. The French king hates the English lion for his bravery, for his courage, for the fact that men love him and follow him. The question is, can this lion heart unite them? The French king is nothing. You know he took his hunting falcon out the day he arrived? It flew off and landed in the city. He offered them a thousand crowns if they'd send it back. What did they do? They ate it. <laughs> <laughs> no. We must wait and see what lion heart does and how he does it. It all depends on that. This is the battle of our lives, Adel. We will prevail, or we will face defeat. There will be no middle ground. Then, as God wills it. As God wills it. As you see, cousin, the city walls are formidable. Even my catapults have little effect upon them. Let's see. Come on, come on. How's it going, boys? Hard work, sire, for no profit. Well, we're not here for the profit, eh? <laughs> You're going to full tension. Won't get another inch out of her without she cracks. Feel the bar if you like. Oh, there's an 18 year old. God, you <laughs> he who knows who it is, and he knows his business. The machine is running perfectly, so. I told you, cousin, the wall. Marshal, are... take a spike to the rock there. Chalky. Powdery. Exactly. Send it. Ready. Clear. Here it is. Loose! <sighs> Look at that, cousin. Burst to powder. Your rocks are too soft, Philip. You need harder rocks. <laughs> we use what there is. We cannot conjure rocks, my lord. You don't have to, Conrad. When the rest of my fleet arrives, we will have all the hard courts from Sicily we need. You see, gentlemen, I took care to ask around before I came. <sighs> the good commander is always prepared for any eventuality. Then I hope you are ready for battle, cousin. We attack at noon. No, you cannot. Don't tell me what I cannot do, Richard. We have to break the walls first and then fight our way through in superior numbers, while still guarding our back against Saladin's attack from the mountains. Cousin! To him who does not fight, there will be no glory and no spoils of battle. I had heard you were called Lionheart, not Mouseheart. <laughs> that went well then, sir. What's wrong with them, Conrad? Why won't they get up the ladders? They have to get over the walls. He can't. 
The walls are too high, too much Greek fire. Perhaps if you were to leave them, sire, an example... It is not a commander's job to get killed, Conrad. If you excuse me, I will join my men in the moat down there. Wait! What's that noise? Saladin. He attacks from the mountains. We'll be caught between the claws of the crab. Well, here I am again. Saving Philip's eyes, say, Marshal. He won't thank you for it. Any more than he did for rejecting his sister. And he has scolded his pride there. You sure it's wise for you to be in the front row? You're not exactly a hard target. You think I'm letting you have all the fun? Stand fast, man. Steady now. Wait, wait. Crossbows, ready. Hold it, hold it! Release! He fights like a lion. That may be his undoing. He wants to be everywhere at once, seen and beloved by all. Do we press on? No. Uh, I have learned something of my enemy today. We pull back. Once the rest of his army arrives, he will take the city. Surely... There is no point losing men to try and hold what we cannot hold. A retreat is better than a defeat, Adel. And as we retreat, so we lead him on. Deeper into a country that we know well, and he does not. You'll be up and kicking ass in a day or two. Courage, friend, and we'll see it through together. Next time, we'll be standing on the walls and they'll be flat on their backs. My lord. What is it? Do you come from Philip? I owe my duty to him, sir. I am Robert of Champagne. He is my lord. But he was wrong to attack. We must take the walls down first. Don't worry, we will. But when that day comes, I'm going to need Philip's forces as well as my own. I'll talk to him, sir. Persuade him to be by your side the next time. It will take time. His pride is battered. His men fought bravely. There's no reason for any of you to be ashamed. And once Philip manages to clean the shite out of his armor, he'll be as good as new, too. Oh, and remind him of his own words. Those who don't fight don't share the rewards of fighting. That'll get him running. Because Philip of France is not a fighter, it doesn't mean he never wins his battles. Generally, he does, because he knows how to bide his time. His father, Louis, was the same, at least when I was married to him. But whilst Louis did what his wife told him, at least when I was married to him, Philip listens only to his ambition for a greater France. One more turn. One more. She won't take it. Stroker, cajoler. Sing her a song, soldier. She'll take it. One more. Now, leave her a palm's worth left. A bit more. Tiny bit more. A thumb. A little finger. King Philip's cod. That's it. What do you think? She'll fly true. Then let's give these buggers one for the true cross. Ready. Clear. Here it is. Loose! I give you acre, gentlemen. The city is ours. The cross is exalted. The heathen brought low. But not down, reverence. We've given him something to think about. Ah, cousin, glad you could join us. I was in the treasury. We've taken a great prize today, Richard. Yes, together. And when we stay together, we are invincible. And considerably richer. To the victor, the spoils. Though I did not see any Austrian troops fighting today, Robert. <laughs> there were none, sir. Duke Leopold chose to keep his forces in reserve, in case they were needed later. I believe that's how he expressed it. And yet I see his banner flying beside ours. Do you? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> now, the tide is running and we must run with it. Cousin, cousin, we have much to do here. The walls to rebuild, prisoners to ransom. 
The Treasury alone will take a Philip, month to... you really don't see it, do you? The armies are ready to go. We need to march down the coast to Haifa and then Ascalon. Look at the map, Marshal. Ascalon is the key. Who holds it controls Palestine and the road to Egypt. Who controls that can plot Jerusalem whenever he wishes. Jerusalem is a long way away, cousin. Acre is here in our hands. We should enjoy it. We should build on it. Besides, no army can hope to cross those deserts at this time of year and be ready to fight at the end of it. The enemy is not Saladin. The enemy is the country, the climate. Imagine the spiders and the scorpions. So we won't. We'll have the sea on our right flank. We'll only have to protect our left. King Hugh. Ex-King Hugh. Are you with me? For God and the Holy Sepulchre. And to get your old job back, Hugh. Duke Conrad. I must protect my own people and my own lands. I know this So you it. said before. Philip, are you with me or not? I, I haven't been well. It is in my mind, cousin, that I may return to France once I'm finished here. Perhaps leave young Robert in my stead whilst I regain my health. Came on fast, did it? Just a few months. I shall return next year for the campaigning season. There's no season for total war, cousin. If you go, you break your oath to regain Jerusalem and the Holy Sepulchre. I don't see it quite like that, Richard. A five-foot-six pile of shite in a suit of armour is a five-foot-six pile of shite, whichever way you look at it. <laughs> you speak too hastily, cousin. No. I waited too long. Cousin. Richard has so many virtues. But for all his understanding of his soldiers, his sergeants, his own men, he cannot see that his fellow princes have begun to feel a deadly jealousy towards him and all that he is. I fear for my son. I fear for his kingdom. Philip will go home. He's always intended to. He wants the glory without the risk. He won't get it. Forgive me, Sir William, but if he goes home, he'll be telling the story. You know, no one will believe him. They'll believe what it suits them to believe. Besides, and I do not like to say this of one to whom I have given my duty. Go on. There is something he wants a lot more than Jerusalem. Go on. He wants Anjou. Brittany, Normandy, and Aquitaine. He wants all France, and with you here, my lord... No, I can't see it. Philip's a snake, but... Mother would recognize what he's up to. She and John could put enough in his way to hold him in check until I get home. He knows I'll be back, and it'll have to answer for everything. Oh, Richard. He knows nothing of the kind. He knows you have many enemies, both in the Holy Land and here. In your own family. You should go back, my lord. No. Never. I gave my oath. I will do this. I will fight this Saladin. I will fight this country. I will win. Can I count on you, Robert? Yes. Who else will be steadfast? And the Templars. The Knights of the Hospital. And this is what they've been waiting for. The Burgundians. The Venetians. Piedmont. They hate each other, but now they've found a leader. They'll go with you. Twenty thousand men, possibly. Then we have an army. Marshal, I know I can count on you. You can. Then I want you to go back to England. No. I need someone with Mother and John that I can trust. I know you never liked me as much as Brother Hal, and I know you hate the idea of missing out on a good fight, but at least there won't be any... Bloody spiders and scorpions. Travel light. Travel fast. Be my eyes, William. Take my love to my mother. Tell her I think of her often. And of my father, seldom. Now listen up. Each man will carry 30 pounds of food, firewood for boiling water, as well as his personal arms. There will be a daily ration of four gallons of water per man, issued from the water car. They march to Jaffa and beyond to Ascalon. We will harry them, Adlin, until they do not know which way they are going. And then we will tempt them, small groups at a time. Once let them chase us, and they are ours. 
Those will be marked thus. Poisoned thus. Stay in the line, in your position. Do not break out of line for any reason. We will be on the march for at least 20 days. We will march early morning and evening. And any man marching in the heat of the day, the sun will fry his bloody brains. And if it don't, I will. Master of the temple. Sire. Keep a good watch now, master. And remember, whatever the provocation, do not break the line. Ha! Oh, sand. Bloody sand gets everywhere. Just make sure you boil the water before you drink it, sonny. This water tastes like piss, Sarge. And it ought to suit you. Because you're a bit of a piss artist yourself. <laughs> Seven days. They must be feeling it by now. But they do not break, Adel. They do not break. Go then! Draw them out! Go with God! Sir, the master of the hospital thinks they may be going to launch an attack. He says it's either a sandstorm or Saladin's forces in full. And it's not the season for storms. Very well. Go to him. Remind him. No breakout. It's going to be difficult to hold his people once it gets really hot back there. No breakout. They must hold until I give the word. No breakout, Robert. No breakout. Run! Draw them out and cut them off. Small groups surrounded and finished. They're close to Jaffa. They must not reach it in fighting condition. In and out. Sting them, brothers. Sting them until they cannot bear it anymore. Then put them down. As God wills it, so shall it be. Steady now, steady men. Shields up. Boys down, steady men. Hold it, hold it. Hold it! Hold it yourself! Crossbowman! Shoot! The master says they're too hard pressed. They charge or they die in the line. Let them hold, Robert. One more mile, let them hold. To the hills. I don't know if they can. They must. No breakout to the hills, and then they go. Now mark me! Every sergeant, every man, every rider. Mark me the temple, all of you. When the master of the hospital goes, we all go. Every horse we have. On the command. All go. On the command. For God's love, Sarge. We gotta go now. It ain't God you need to worry about, Sonny. It's lion bollocks. Go too soon and he'll have yours for lunch. Hold the line! Hold the line! Steady now! Steady now, Spinel! Enough in all conscience! Oh, my God, in the Holy Sepulchre! Now go! For the true cross! Oh, God! Bear the Holy Sepulchre! They're going! The hospital goes! Now, come on! All for God! All for the Holy Cross! You said retreat is better than defeat, brother. As God wills it. How have we sinned? It is not for us to question, Adel. It is for us to learn. God has spared us so that we may do so. That's why he gave us the ability to think and plan and consider, even in defeat. This King Richard is truly the lion. He is great in war. He is the beating heart of the Christian. It is true. He held them back like the waters, and when he released them, they were as the sea and swept us away. But we have nets. We will gather in the army. Get away! 
getaway. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. What, brother? What? The jackal goes for the heart of the corpse. It is rich. Good food for her and her brood. We, Adel, shall go for the heart of the Christians. You have news, Marshal? There's been a victory. A great victory. A final victory? It was before the gates of Jaffa. Richard overran the Saracens. Scattered them, but did not finish them. Oh, then it's no victory at all. He should be here. Not in Palestine, kissing the Pope's boots. He's not there for the Pope, madam. But he's not here for his kingdom. I'm not even sure he considers England that much of a kingdom. It pays for his wars, and if he doesn't return soon, then you'll be right, it won't be his kingdom. And nor will Brittany or Normandy or much of the rest. And back at ten? While I live, that snake Philip will never have it. And while Richard lives, nor will John, as much as he'd like it. If you'll forgive me, madam, there's a lot that John would like, starting with England. He values it more than his brother does. More than its rightful king, you mean? I mean he wants power. And he doesn't mind who he sleeps with to get it. And Philip hates Richard, and his lies are gaining currency throughout Europe. But Richard is seen as a glory hunter without a tactical bone in his body, sacrificing men and money to his own vanity. Oh, come inside. I need to get out of this everlasting camp. I want to go home to Aquitaine, Marshal, where it's warm and they sing the good songs and drink the good wine. If I have to smile and toast another English merchant with another glass of warm, watery mead, I think I shall be sick. <sighs> <sighs> the things I do for Richard. And the best thing you can do for him now is to write and tell him, beg him, to come home before Philip and John are able to spread their poison too far. I've never really known John. But he will still listen to me because he needs my support if he's going to become king after Richard. I'll talk to him. But you know what we're like when it comes to power, Marshal. You've seen us all at our worst. Oh, I've seen the old king curse God and try and destroy his sons. I've seen the young king condemn 2,000 prisoners of war to death with... But I've also seen you at your best. And that is something indeed. To see Lionheart leading his men through a breach in the wall, his banner flying behind him, sword in one hand, crossbow in the other, his enemies falling like corn before the scythe. <laughs> to see the old king beguile a court full of the cleverest men in Europe. To have seen him make from a dozen different competing factions one empire. To see... Henry Plantagenet ride in state, his queen Eleanor beside him. That was to see something. Thank you. Thank you for that, William. I know you are loyal and will be loyal to us and to the crown. And now, I shall go and write to Richard. Doing? Where is he? He is in his tent. He is seeing no one. And we are not seeing him. And yet there is Jerusalem. There. There. See it waiting. My kingdom. All we have to do is stretch out our hands and take it. For once, King X, King Hugh and I are in agreement. It is there for the taking. He will see no one. We know he will see no one, but why? We've come this far. Has his heart failed him? The fabled lion heart sits in his tent day after day like a... Like a soaking child. You would not say that to his face, Conrad. We would like at least a chance to say something. He has an army waiting for his command. One word from him and they will attack. Talk to him, Robert. He listens to you as to no one else. Convince him. I will try 
That's all I can say. I came here with my people, my forces. I left my castles to join with you. After the hard work had been done, Conrad, after we'd taken Jaffa, after we'd rebuilt Ascalon, then you came. I haven't noticed you covering yourself in glory, Hugh, with your borrowed forces. A king without an army. A king who's proved he's not afraid to fight. A king who's there when he's needed. Still squabbling. Still squabbling. Still squabbling. They don't see it. That's the trouble, sir. They do. Right there before their very eyes. What each of them wants and will stab each other, you, the army in the back to get hold of. The Holy City. You know, the last real meeting I had with my father. I pray I live long enough to have my revenge on you, boy. <laughs> oh, one thing more, father. Let me go. Do you know whose name is at the very top of the list of those who supported me? Let me be. Your beloved son, John. Oh. I killed him as surely as if I'd pushed a blade into his heart. And I knew I had to do it if I was to be king, and I... I can bear that burden, I can carry it. Until those times when it becomes too heavy too much and throws me down, throws down Lionheart. I've had a letter, my mother tells me. She tells me that at home the rats gnaw at my kingdom, and my father gnaws at my soul. If I could just throw it off, you can depend on me to the end and beyond it. I thank God for you, Robert. But the heart has gone out of me. And the heart has gone out of this army. But you and Conrad are driven still... by desire, and desire will drag a corpse from the grave if it's strong enough. I saw that in my father. But I know armies when they've been in the field too long. It's been too hard, too hot, too cold, too bloody, too fast, too slow, too much. Jerusalem stands before us, yes. But Saladin's garrison is twice our strength. To take it, I would need a fresh army, more supplies, twice the siege engines we have, commanders who are united, and men who would fight for more than four pieces of gold a week. And yet if Lionheart stood at their head, with his banners flying, they would find their heart. First, I would have to find my own. Then go look for it. Take a group of trusted men, just enough to make a good escort, let us go out into the wilderness, as our Lord did. Leave the army, leave the quarrels and the problems. Let us go out of this place and find the men we were. And would I no longer hear my father's voice in my ear? I pray I live long enough to have my revenge on you, boy. Your father is dead, Richard. We are alive. Is he going? What is he doing? Will he come back? We're lost if he doesn't. Are we? If he won't fight, what use is he to either of us? <sighs> Dogs circle the wounded boar. They scent its heart's blood, its pain, its weakness and lay their plans accordingly. Oh, my son, my son. We are reasonable men, John, yes? We desire no more than is our due, yes? I see a future for France as a great nation deciding destinies, yes? You see Anjou in England as a kingdom united under a monarch who is there for his people, yes? I am a king. You wish to be a king. Yes? Now, there is no reason why our desires should bring us to conflict. There is every reason for us to act together, to become steadfast friends and stand against those who oppose us. Yes? I mean, forgive me, John, but... Your brother is very much mistaken if he thinks he can get away with these adventures abroad and leave his responsibilities at home. 
He may be strong, he may be a great strategist, but together we have greater strength and more far-sighted strategy if, if we can depend on each other. Yes? Oh, absolutely. Yes. They told the truth. Every man finds a time when his own heart sinks slow. And he must find God's help to raise him up. And where is God better found than in the silence and emptiness of the desert? You know, I begin to like this man, Lionheart. It is a pity he will die with the dawn. Are the men ready? They are ready. Tell the commanders to move in. Wait until the first rays of the sun touch his banner, and then attack, without warning, without mercy, without stopping until this king lies dead. In Plantagenet, Lionheart by Mike Walker. King Henry II was played by David Warner. Queen Eleanor by Jane Lapotere. King Richard I by Ed Stoppard. Saladin by Rad Rawi. El Adel by Khalid Leif. And Prince John by Neil Stook. William Marshall was played by Stephen Hogan. King Philip of France by John Biggins. Conrad by Piers Weiner. And Robert of Champagne by Rhys Jennings. Other parts were played by Bruce Alexander, Joseph Cohen Cole, Philip Fox and Ewan Hooper. The director was Jeremy Morton. <laughs>